This is Tommy's Breaks. Welcome everybody to video number one of Tommy's Breaks Subbox Blitz, where I'll be opening 20 sub boxes in 20 days. I want to thank you all for watching, and if this is your first visit, or you've yet to already, please consider subscribing to the channel. I greatly appreciate the continued support. Before we get started, let's take a look at what I have planned. As you can see, I've separated the boxes into three specific tiers based on the price of the box, which generally ranges from about $30 up to about $180. My plan is to post one video per day, starting with the entry level tier, working my way through the mid level tier, and then finishing up with the top level tier, posting the final video 20 days from now on Christmas. Each video will close with me providing my non-expert, non-professional opinion and unofficial review of the box. Now that we've got that behind us, let's get to the break. Today, we have the Baseball Experience box from the Vault Card Club. You can find these boxes and more, including uh, football and basketball. They have multiple subscription options and different box options and customization options, just like many of the, the sub box providers. So you can go on to vaultcardclub.com and take a look around and see if there's anything there that might interest you. In the baseball experience box, we're expected to find five to seven, I believe, hobby packs. And also, you know, there's always a potential for uh, additional packs to be added, but also there's a very specific uh, pack included um, that's supposed to be provided for a young person to experience their first real pull, essentially. So let's get into it and take a look. The Vault Junior Pack. So that's what I was talking about. These are, are put together specifically uh, for young people. Sometimes they include a pack, um, but generally guaranteed hits, which is kind of fun. And this being an entry-level tier box for $29.99, uh, this could make a great experience for a, a young person in the hobby. No doubt about it. All right, let's see what we've got. We've got a 2020 Series 2 hobby, 2020 Pro Debut hobby, 2019 Heritage hobby, 2016 Update hobby, 2016 High Number hobby, and 2015... Asia exclusive Bowman. Interesting. I've never seen this. Never seen these before. Huh. One, two, three, four, five. So we ended up with six uh, pe hobby packs, which is great. Just what we expected, plus our junior pack over here. Let's dig it in. Let's dig in and see what we find. 2016. I might need uh, some help from you guys. Uh, 2016 uh, was not a year I was collecting. Darwin Barney, Chris Johnson. Obviously, if I recognize the player, you know, that means one thing. But there are many guys that I am not super familiar with. Uh, Jake Arrieta, Derek Law, rookie, Enrique Hernandez. Ryan O'Rourke, rookie, and a Ricky Weeks. So I don't think anything crazy out of there. Pack 2, 2016, Tops Update. My man, David Ortiz, Big Poppy, on the front. Paul Goldschmidt, All-Star. Bud Norris. Jose Fernandez, tough story there. 
Todd Frazier, the Home Run Derby, Steve Pierce, Ben Zoberst, and as here's a gold, Eric Ibar. Two oh three out of two sixteen. Kevin Herrera. Kelvin, sorry. Bartolo Colon. The big man. And Mark Trumbo. Let's see what the nineteen heritage has. Archie Bradley, Jared Hughes, Mike Zanino, Ryan Yarbrough, Gold Cup, D. Gordon, Austin Romine, Jackie Clears, Ducks in the Pond, Jackie Bradley. You got a uh, 18 AL home run leaders. <laughs> and when pigs fly. Oh, when pigs fly. Oh, got it. All right. 2020 pro debut. JJ Lede. I have not dug into much of this. Actually, none of it, to be honest with you. George Valera. Keep it Ruiz, I know. Definitely know that name. Luis Campesano. Ryan Garcia. Sam Huff. John. Yeah, I don't know. Keep Brian Hayes. And. A Dominic Fletcher. All right. Let's do this 15 Asia exclusive. Bowman. Chris Sale. Aaron Sanchez, Manny Machado, it's cool, David Dahl, that's a cool looking chrome, that must be the Asia exclusive version. It looked like it would be like a numbered card. But nope. Hunter Harvey. Rob Kaminsky. Oh, there's a fancy one. Nice refractor there. Let's take a look at this one. Got a wave going on. Let's just be inserts. Tim Berry. Jeremy Rhodes, Edwin Encarnacion, and Jack Renheimer. Those are some nice cards. Let's see what we got in 2020 Series 2. We're looking for the Robert, mostly. Rosarina, perhaps. I don't know if that was series two. Ronaldo Hernandez, Jack Mayfield, Sean Manea, Willie Castro, Noah Syndergaard, Brett Gardner, Danny Duffy, Austin Roman, Michael Brantley, 
We've got an 80s Best Tigers. Danny Jansen and Spencer Turnbull. All right. Let's see what the Vault Junior Pack has to offer. So you get Adam Jones. Is that a rainbow foil? Refractor. And Anthony Hewitt. Not sure who he is. Sticker. It's probably from a while ago, too. 2008. And then 2014 dollars. Probably a retail pack. Trumbo, Ian Gomes, Brandon Moss, another Chris Sale. Okay, to do a little quick recap. Granted, uh, not all of these are, are based on value. Um, uh, you know, sometimes I just enjoy the cards and I pull them aside. So here's my little pile. Um, three of these came out of the Asia only Bowman pack. And I thought the designs were really pretty cool and not something I had seen yet. Um, so I grabbed these, um, for sure. Uh, Reese Hoskins, a couple, you know, just rookies from series two. Uh, Chris Sale, because he plays on my Red Sox. Um, another Chris Sale. Uh, Manny Machado, Chris Sale. And then uh, this Kiebert Ruiz uh, came out of Pro Debut. Uh, Eric Ibar, this is a gold out of 2016. Uh, and then the sort of guaranteed hits. In the junior pack were this Anthony Hewitt auto out of 920 and this Adam Jones chrome refractor um, from 2018, I believe. Yep. Okay. That's going to do it for the recap. Let's take a look at the review. I tried to create a... Pretty simple system for providing, you know, a general overview and review of each of these sub boxes. And I broke it down into four categories. I will score them five points apiece. 20 total points can be uh, scored at any, any given box. The categories are box value and I'm not talking about the outcome of the packs. I'm talking about, you know, the value of the packs inside the box, etc. Appearance. Uh, so that's going to be, you know, the packaging, what's included, uh, any paperwork, etc. cetera. Um, the pack selection. So uh, retail versus hobby. Um, you know, what, what type of packs are in here? What type of products, et cetera. And then the overall experience. Um, and that's totally just going to be arbitrary based on how I feel, uh, etc. So, for the Vault Card Club baseball experience box in the entry level tier, I'm keeping that perspective in play here. In terms of value, with the six packs that were included for $30 for the box, we're at a flat $5 per pack price point. And in my opinion, I think that's that's really strong. I suspect we're not going to see too, too many boxes at that uh, exact price point. So I think for the economy of it, I'm going to give this a 4 out of 5 for value. Moving on to appearance. I think these guys do a good job. You know, having the custom box with your website on it. You know, they got some logo action going on. Um, you know, I think that's good. I appreciate, um, you know, 
I appreciate this element of it. However, there, you know, uh, there's, there's nothing additional added in. Um, you know, outline of the packs or, you know, anything else essentially. So um, in terms of appearance, I'm going to go again with a four out of five for the low uh, entry level tier. Moving on to selection and pack selection. Now, my, my expectations in the entry level tier are, are that we're not going to see super high end packs. However, I do think there can be a blend of new products and older products. And in terms of what we saw in this box, we had the Series 2, which is a really nice new hobby product. The 2020 Pro Debut just came out pretty recently. Uh, again, a hobby product. 19 Heritage is a pretty nice pack. Um, you know, these older, like, 15 and 16 packs, you know, uh, they're okay. And I think what we would sort of typically expect to find. Um, so I think this selection is is actually pretty good for, uh, for an entry-level box like this. Considering that they were hobby, etc. Um, so I'm going to give this a 5 out of 5 on pack selection. Let's talk about the overall experience. So I think there's, for me personally, I like when there's something added, um, you know, uh, something additional that, you know, can, can help me through the break or something additional after the break, uh, giveaways and raffles and, and pack lineups and descriptions and all of those type of things I find to be um, a real nice addition to any box experience. And that's a little bit lacking here. However, I will give a little bit of a bonus for the Vault Junior Pack. I think this is an amazing idea, especially for young collectors getting into the, the spirit of it all. Um, kudos for this. So I'm going to give the experience a 3 out of 5. I think there's, there's, there's more that could be added there uh, to sort of spice things up a little bit. However, I also recognize that this is the entry level box and the price is the lowest of any that we have. Um, but I'm going to stick with the three. So taking a look at the total for the Vault Card Club baseball experience box in the entry level tier, this box scores a 16 out of 20. That's pretty good. So that's going to do it for the first video of the Subbox Blitz. Don't forget to smash that like if you enjoyed the break. And if you'd like to see more like it, if you haven't yet already, please hit that subscribe button. If you also, if you have any suggestions on other boxes you'd like to see me maybe include or break, uh, please let me know in the comments below. And also, you know, let me know what you think about, about this box and about my review. Um, I appreciate you all coming along for the journey and I appreciate your input. This is Tommy. Thanks for watching. Have a pleasure.